So today we are going to take these peg people that didn't quite make the cut the first time around and we are going to redo them using using um, um, like mixing colors and these paints. We are going to use these liquid acrylic paints and for details we have these fabric markers. And for like the really tiny brushes. Like for the really tiny details, we have these really, really, really fancy deep um, brushes so that like in caps. And we have water for our brushes. Yeah, and I have this for my like like I'm gonna you put the the colors in these little holes. And I'm gonna put the like I'm gonna mix in this big hole. Oh, but yeah. first, we have to do the dishes in our sink because otherwise we can't clean off our paint brushes. So we have these peg people that have certainly seen better days. And we had a good time kind of trying to make a couple of them look interesting initially. Well, this guy has, wow. Um, but we aren't super happy with, oh, she's pretty cute, how they turned out. Um, they have some potential, but a little bit not quite as nice as we would like. Um, now, just in case you're confused, they don't actually start off like that. They start off very similar to this guy without any um, paint or colors. And then what we tried the first time was just using these fabric markers, yeah, fabric, fabric markers yeah. which worked out really nicely, except they, they smudge. tended they to smudge. smudge and they bleed into the wood and it didn't do as much as we would like it to. So we're going to try again with some acrylics. Mm -hmm. These are really expensive so they so you need to like add just a little. Now what are you going to do? I'm going to like use this really small detail brush and go around on the neck so that first done and then I'm going to use this bigger brush to do the rest of the head so I'm more careful. Like that's a really good idea like if you go really really slow and carefully you can cover a lot more brown you can cover more things. Almost. Okay, the ring around his neck will prevent me from going on his um, body um, and I can do the rest of his head with my normal brush. This will take like, this will usually take like two layers and you have like a lighter color like I do because you can see right through it. So it's going to be like two, maybe three layers of this skin color. like a really high detailed brush to the neck you won't get nearly as much um skin color all over the body as if you just do the big brush all over the head um you could if you don't have like a high detail brush you can put tape around the body and just so the head will show and then you and then you'll and then if you get a little bit on the tape it's fine you can just peel it off and it should be pretty neat let it dry. I'm let him dry sometimes, but I'm impatient, so it's gonna blow on him. <laughs> um, it's dry enough so I can just hold it, so I'm just gonna start working on the body. Okay. And I have pink and yellow for the body, so I'm gonna make a dress. But I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna do like a dance dress. I'm gonna do like a dance dress. He, I use this pencil um, so I can just mark where I'm going to paint. Just marking. It's like, it's like drawing on the walls before you paint the walls. Time to paint. Don't, don't worry about like the outline showing, you can just paint over them. Can I 
see how yours is coming out? Ooh, look at that kid. Hmm, I'm not dancing yet. It's really interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm not dancing yet. See that? So, I'm doing the hair of the peg person that mom did. Wanna leave some room for the face. Looking great. Can a cute little purse striker, possibly a hat, My hair, hair, and eyes. And in a second, I'll do eyes for them too because I don't currently have faces. And here we're finally done.